If this is your first time stopping by, I'm Coach Gaglione, and this is Gaglione Strength. I've been involved with powerlifting and strength coaching for over 14 years, and today we're talking about tracking your food. There's the old saying, you can't manage what you don't measure. So I think one of the biggest mistakes that we do uh, as people, as bigger guys like myself, people that have a big appetite, people with big appetites, we tend to underestimate what we are eating. We always think we're eating less than we actually are. Uh, other things to consider, you know, if you cook with oils, you maybe add some condiments. All those oils and condiments may, may be at a drop in the bucket day to day, but over the course of a year, over the course of a month, it's going to be several hundred, if not several thousand calories that are going to be unaccounted for. So it's really important that you kind of track your food. You can use things like a, a My Fitness Pal and things like that. Uh, My Macros is different um, you know, apps that you could utilize. Uh, I personally use My Fitness Pal often. You can also check out something a little bit more simple if you're new to tracking, like My Transformation app, which is through First One, which is a great option. Uh, another thing that we've been doing with our, some of our newer members uh, that are looking to lose some weight, make some dietary changes, is just take pictures of your food, food so you have kind of an idea of like what your plate looks like and kind of what's good and what's bad. So that is a form of tracking. It's a little bit more subjective. You know, Precision Nutrition also talks about like, using your palms for protein, um, you know, using um, your, you know, your kind of your fingers. So using your kind of hands, you know, thumbs for fats, palms for protein. Uh, kind of like a deck of cards or fingers uh, for um, for carbohydrate sources and then obviously fill the rest of your plate with veggies. So there's different methods and things that you could do. Um, but in general, uh, I recommend at least, if nothing else, weighing your, your meat and prepping your meat. Um, so while we're on the subject of that, some of the things that we're going to do on a weekly basis that I recommend. Uh, so part of making trip. One thing that can make tracking easier is kind of actually putting the food in. This is a good strategy, putting your food in ahead of time. So, for example, I like to utilize the, the protein from the Give program. So, if I know if I'm going to have like you know six ounces of the ground sirloin, or six ounces of the Give program chicken, or a pound of the lovely shrimps. I love that shrimp from the Give program, or six ounces of salmon. Whatever it, it may be, I'm going to put that in ahead of time uh, for the next day so that way I kind of have an idea of like what my day is going to look like. So you're kind of preparing. Uh, we always talk about you know proper planning prevents piss poor performance and you know uh, not having a plan is kind of planning to fail as they say. So a good strategy, especially if you're new to tracking, is kind of figure out like what your kind of meals are going to look like ahead of time. Um, you know, And if you're kind of not sure like what, what your calories should be and things like that, don't worry about it. Just get the sense of having an idea. Um, in terms of like laying out your day, uh, I personally like to have 60 upwards of 100% of my carbohydrates around my training time. So that's going to be pre or post workout. So before or after the workout. And if I had to choose one over the other, I like to train in a fed state. Uh, so I'm going to probably prioritize pre workout more than post workout. That's a personal preference. Um, you know, there are there is some. I've found that I just perform better having carbohydrates in my system. I've tried to do low carbs and things in the past, uh, but that's something to consider as well. So uh, nutrient timing is important. It is not the most important thing, but it, the mo it's just something, a way to kind of help kind of keep your calories in check. Uh, your calorie needs are going to be very different depending on your activity levels and your goals. Uh, but one thing, you need to get a baseline. And in order to get a baseline, you're going to need to track your food. So that's going to be a, a really, really critical thing. Uh, probably, you know, like I said, once you kind of have your sleep kind of squared away, uh, tracking is going to be one of the more important habits that you do uh, if you want to make any kind of long-lasting changes. And then the more and more you track, uh, the more and more dialed in you're going to be. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please check out the links below right here uh, to help support this channel for future content. If you're local to Long Island area, uh, you can check out Protein from the Give program. All the Give program options, uh, thanks to Mary Flex, uh, are in MyFitnessPal. So it makes it very easy to track all the protein options in there. You get delicious salmon, shrimp, ground beef, chicken. We got lots of different varieties here. So check out the Give program. You can use the code Gaglione at checkout for fifteen percent off your first order. And then we also, if you want to supplement as well with some protein and some different items to uh, enhance your diet regimen, you can also check out supplements from First Form. And you can get a link for free shipping as well in the description. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video on how to be strong and lean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Check out the links below. And until next time, stay strong. We'll see you soon.